Okay, so you've now seen how I use my Etrex GPS along with the Topo map software to create these really nice customized maps which are not only used for navigating but also for uh, recording um, scouting information that I can refer to throughout the season. And just typically what I do is I'll, as, as I'm doing a lot of scouting in the preseason where I'm adding a lot of data points to my map, generally I'll just print this out on plain paper and take it out in the field with me that I can take a pencil and write on it and um, knowing that, that the map is probably only going to last for uh, a week or so until I add more data points which I'm going to want to be able to look at. Um, I don't go to the expense of printing it on, on adventure paper here. Um, this stuff is, is not terribly expensive, but it isn't cheap either for something that you're going to use once and throw away. I just I use regular plain paper, but um, this adventure paper is what I print it on when I have a fairly complete map and I'm ready to use it for several weeks without uh, making many changes. I'll print it on here, and again, this stuff is super tough. I take it, I just fold it up, stick it in my pocket. I don't worry about protecting it in any way, and I've never had one tear, smudge, um, anything like that. They're, they're pretty much indestructible and, and just a great way to go. I've been using this system with, uh, with the Topo software and with my Etrex GPS for several years now, and, and uh, you know, to be honest, I, I really don't have any desire to go to a mapping type of GPS. Like I said, I don't typically use it a whole lot for finding my way around. I really refer more to the map and, and use my compass. Um, and I've got some, if, if you're not really comfortable using a, a map and compass together, I've got some instructional materials on my website. Again, that's pursuithunting.com. In the Outdoorsman Toolkit section, there's, there's several articles on using a map and compass together. And I find that, that I buy just making sure that I keep up with where I am all the time. I really don't need my GPS to pinpoint my location in the world. I just, I use it primarily to record a location that I can come back home and, and enter it onto my map and have it stored there permanently with. Um, for those of you who have a, a higher end GPS that, and I, I didn't mention earlier that the, uh, the, the PC interface on this unit is only designed to work with a serial port and most computers don't come with serial ports anymore at least laptops don't that I'm aware of. Um, you can get a serial to USB conversion. The, the cables are very expensive. You'll spend almost as much for two cables as you will for the GPS itself and I was never able to get it to work so um, I just I just do the, the uh, data entry by hand. It It's a little bit clunkier than having it do it automatically, but uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of time because I'm not I'm not normally storing a lot of data points on there. So it may take me five or ten minutes when I get home to to move coordinates back and forth, but I don't really find that particularly burdensome. Um, and as I said at the beginning, for about the half about half of the price of uh, even a mid-range mapping GPS. I get capabilities that I think are, are far superior with probably one of the least expensive GPS units on, on the market combined with this mapping software. Now, and, and I didn't say earlier, I know that there are websites where you can download the USGS maps for free. Uh, I've used them, I've used them a lot, but you can't customize them and you can't save them. So in my mind, it was worth the, the cost of buying the software to be able to store my maps and save them and, and to be able to come back to them. Even things like putting property lines on there. Um, if, you're, if you need that on your map and you're using downloaded uh, topo maps, you won't be able to do that. So I, I, in my mind, the, the investment in this software was, a, uh, was, was well done. Uh, I should point out that the adventure paper doesn't require you to use the topo software you can print any type of map on the adventure paper so even if you are downloading your maps off of the internet for free you can still print them on this paper and I think it's well worth it to do that. Um, okay I've talked about cost of these things uh, what is that this unit the Etrex at H 
generally sells for right around $100, $99, $100, depending on where you get it. And the Topo software runs about exactly the same. It's about $100 as well. So when you put the two of them together, you've got $200 in it. Um, most of the mapping GPSs now that have, you know, even even somewhat detailed maps are about $400 to $500. And the level of detail that you can get in the mapping GPSs is, is not anywhere close to this one to 24,000. Uh, they're all one to 100,000, which doesn't give you a whole lot of detail. And, and in my opinion, is kind of worthless as far as actually navigating around when you're out in the woods. So I, I think this gives you much more effectiveness for, for a lot less money. Um, it is a little bit clunkier, um, it's, it's not as slick, but as far as getting the job done, um, I, I think it's hard to beat. The other thing that I've talked about is the adventure paper, and I'll put links to sources for all the stuff on my website, but uh, the adventure paper generally runs about $15 to $20 per package. The number of sheets per package varies depending on the size. Um, you can get it anywhere from letter size. This is legal size here, you can see. Uh, and you can get up to 11 by 17 if you want to print some larger maps. But uh, really good stuff, and I highly recommend it for printing any kind of map off that you're going to do. So that's, uh, that's it for this gear review. Uh, again, this wasn't intended to be a, a comprehensive gear review of everything that, that these things can do, but really more how I use them and... and uh, Hopefully you guys have gotten something useful out of it, and uh, I uh, look forward to coming back soon, and we will talk about probably some turkey hunting things next time. So for now, Chris Anderson, PursuitHunting.com, signing out.